Welcome to the Department of Bioengineering Virtual Open Day. You might have heard the term bioengineering before, but may not be familiar with what it means and what it covers, especially as it is a broad term with different interpretations. For us, bioengineering is the application of engineering principles to solve practical problems in either medicine or a biological environment. There are three particular subdivisions within this definition that our courses and research focus upon. Biomedical engineering is the development of medical devices or techniques and interventions with a purpose to improve human health and well-being. Molecular bioengineering is the application of engineering principles to molecules, cells, tissues and systems within both humans and other living organisms for a variety of purposes. Biomimetics is the engineering of materials and machines which have been inspired by the structures and functions of living organisms. As a department, our research covers a multitude of topics within the field of bioengineering. We characterise our research into seven areas, although often research will span more than one of these areas. Biomechanics and mechanobiology implements predominantly physical sciences into the study and development of systems such as the musculoskeletal system, things like forces generated in impacts and explosions, and even fluid flow around the body. Biomedical sensing, diagnostic and imaging covers the development of devices used to detect illnesses, infection or damage within the body using sensor-based or image-based technology. Computational and theoretical modelling incorporates the use of advanced computational models to understand and evaluate biological processes from the development of bone to the flow of blood cells. Medical devices as a topic covers the development of technology aimed at providing a medical intervention for human health purposes. Molecular and cellular bioengineering focuses on engineering at a cellular level from genetic development to cell growth. Neurotechnology and robotics looks at how the body sends signals and how robotic systems can be used to promote rehabilitation and development. Regenerative medicine and biomaterials take a materials focused approach, understanding how structures such as bone grow and how science can replicate similar functions. One example from biomechanics and mechanobiology, but also from computational and theoretical modelling, is Dr. Neve Nolan's work on understanding the role of fetal movement in the development of the skeleton. Dr. Nolan and her group have been working on models and tests to demonstrate how the movement of a fetus in the womb equates to the baby's leg day at the gym and results in stress in the bone that results over time in the growth and development of bone to counter those stresses. Professor Dario Farina and his group work predominantly in the area of neurotechnology and robotics using the neural networks in the body to control advanced prosthetics such as a robotic arm. The aim of this work is to allow the user to control the arm with their brain as a reflex action, as opposed to conventional prosthetics, which require the user to actively twitch or flex muscles to activate the system. On the molecular side of things, Dr. Savannah Ladam and his group have been developing screening tests to detect early stage cancers. Their concept utilizes peptide nucleic acid, PNA, based biosensors that fluoresce when they combine with microRNA present when cancer cells develop. These PNA sensors are stored within hydrogels and in the presence of a positive sample, they fluoresce under UV light. Dr. Adam Solis and his group are developing novel biomaterials for bandages based on the adhesive performance of slug slime. By combining an adhesive layer, utilizing electrostatics, covalent bonding and physical interaction with an underlayer of hydrogel, which acts to dissipate forces, they have made a bandage that can seal holes in wet and moving surfaces, such as a heart, for example. So bioengineering is all about solving problems, predominantly in biology or healthcare, using engineering tools. Our department is the number one department for bioengineering in the UK. This may sound like us blowing our own trumpet, but it is based on research output, student intake and staff size, amongst other factors. We have over 50 academic staff in our ever-increasing workforce and over 600 undergraduate students at any one time over the course of our two MEng and IBSC programmes. 
In order to achieve this, we seek to provide an environment where our students can flourish, including state-of-the-art laboratories and teaching facilities. We ensure our students have the best career opportunities through our industrial links to various companies who engage in our careers fair programme. As studying at higher levels, and particularly at Imperial, is a mentally demanding process, we look to support our students through pastoral care with our in-house health and wellbeing advisor and our department academic tutor, who provides students with guidance and care. Our bioengineering society ensure that this care comes from all around us as they provide a supporting community to help their peers through the process and provide feedback to the department to help direct the development of our courses over the coming years. And as we look to the future, we look forward to welcoming new students to our new biomedical engineering research hub. This new high-end facility has just been opened and was built on the site of an old BBC television centre in White City. To give you a quick breakdown of our student cohort, we typically have an intake of around 120 biomedical and 60 molecular students each year. Of this intake, we would expect around 80 to be from overseas, with 50 by 5 being from EU countries and around 45 being from within the UK. Our cohort typically has a 50-50 split between male and female students. We also run an intercalated bachelor's IBSC course for medical students with a cohort of around 40. Our undergraduate degrees consist of the MEng in Biomedical Engineering and the MEng in Molecular Bioengineering, both being four-year courses, as well as a one-year intercalated BSc programme for medical students. The structure of the four-year Biomedical Engineering course is as shown, with the first two years consisting of core engineering skills, ensuring that all students attain a similar standard in all aspects of biological science, computer skills, mechanical and electrical engineering, and professional skills. As you reach the third year, you are given the option to choose which stream of the programme most interests you. Bioengineering, computational bioengineering, electrical engineering, and mechanical engineering. This will dictate to some extent what modules you study and what project options you may choose from. In the fourth year, as well as choosing your specialist modules, you'll select an individual research project which will form a significant contribution to your final grades. Within this programme, you have two further options, to undertake a year of study abroad, which will take place in your final year, or to extend to five years with the introduction of a year in industry placement between your third and fourth year. The structure of the four-year molecular bioengineering course is similar, with the first two years consisting of core engineering skills, biological science and biochemistry. As you may expect, this includes a significant amount of time in the wet labs. In the third year, you do not choose a stream, but you select from a collection of mini projects focused on synthetic biology and devices and detectors. In the fourth year, as well as choosing your specialist modules, you will select an individual research project, which will form a significant contribution to your final grades. As with the biomedical engineering program, you have two further options to undertake a year of study abroad, which will take place in your final year, or to extend to five years with the introduction of a year in industry between your third and fourth year. The year abroad option replaces your fourth year at Imperial with a year at a partner institution, such as ETH Zurich or Grenoble. These partner institutions are specifically selected to ensure that their fourth year content is comparable to our own, thus ensuring that our students can retain the accreditation we provide on our course. The space on this programme is very limited and it is highly competitive. The option of a year in industry is typically more open than the year abroad, and any student with suitable academic performance can apply with the department helping them to find an appropriate placement. The students on the programme work for a year with an industrial partner, supported with regular visits by our industrial liaison manager, Mr Robert Ferguson. To gain a place on our degree programme, we will look for our students to have attained a minimum standard of A-level or equivalent at grade A star in maths and A in physics for biomedical engineering, or A in chemistry for molecular bioengineering, along with an A in a third topic. These are minimum grades and a typical offer may be higher depending on your predicted grades and performance at interview. As well as academic achievement, we look for our students to have a good understanding of maths and science and to be able to answer problem-solving questions on those and other engineering-based topics. 
Our candidates should have a real desire to work across the engineering disciplines, along with a strong motivation to be bioengineers. A strong candidate will be a good communicator who can collaborate well in a group environment. So if you're still not sure, why should you study bioengineering? Well, it is a broad and interdisciplinary course that gives you a good grounding in multiple engineering fields. We have a practical, hands-on approach to teaching you, so you'll get plenty of lab time and opportunity to build things. You also get to work on meaningful projects, which may help to detect cancer, provide assistive technology for people with disabilities, and provide healthcare solutions for people in developing countries. And there are a wide range of career opportunities open to you when you complete your degree. In the department, we have a dedicated industrial liaison manager who works to develop the relationships with bioengineering companies and support our students through careers programmes, employer seminars, as well as organised internships, placements and our bioengineering careers fair. It might be that bioengineer is not the job title you are familiar with, but our bioengineers are regularly employed under various titles, from mechanical engineer to bioinformatician, all working under the healthcare and biomedical sector. Bioengineers from our department have gone on to work in orthopaedics and prosthetic sector, developing the new generation of advanced prosthetic arms and legs. They work in the drug delivery sector, developing medicines and means of supplying adequate doses to patients, as well as in the imaging and radiotherapy devices sector, working for large imaging companies like Philips. Our bioengineers work in diagnostics, detecting illnesses and disease. They work in therapeutics, building systems to alleviate illnesses and diseases. They work for companies developing the latest scientific technology and monitoring patient health and well-being. They work for healthcare providers and manufacturers in bioinformatics, providing data and biological systems, or even in patient record systems, tracking and tracing patients. Our graduates have gone on to be clinical engineers in hospital and some have developed software that those hospitals use. Some graduates go to work in consultancy, where their wide knowledge of engineering can be applied to a huge variety of projects. While some graduates don't work for other people, instead they start their companies of their own. Supported by our in-house entrepreneurial experts, the translation manager and the team at Imperial College's Enterprise Labs. There is a wide range of career support available to you during your degree and beyond, from careers talks and fairs to internships and placements. Our admissions team are here to help you through your application process, so if you have any questions then please feel free to get in contact.